Hello there, Mr. Sutton here, bringing you the Precal Honors 6-2 Extra Practice Number 1 Solutions on Vectors. On this problem, they're asking for the component form of the vector with these two points, and also the magnitude. Well, this will be easiest if we get the component form first. You're basically just figuring out directions to get from one point to another. So we're going to do second point minus first point, coordinate by coordinate. So we've got negative 5 minus negative 4, or plus 4. And then we have negative 6 minus 7. So that's going to give us the component form negative 1, comma, negative 13. And now to get the magnitude out of that, we just basically need to use Pythagorean theorem on this. So square root of 1 squared plus 13 squared. Well, that's going to be the square root of 1 plus 169, or square root of 170. And let's see, 170. Can I split that up into anything? Not really. I mean, you could do 10 times 7, but neither of those are going to be perfect squares. So this is as good as it gets. For this problem, we're given this vector in component form, and we want to figure out what 2u is. So basically, we're just going to plug this component form in for u, so 2 times vector 12, 35. And this is just going to be a situation where we distribute the constant. So this is going to be 24, 70. On this problem, we're given this vector in component form, and we want to find negative 2 times u. So we're just going to write negative 2 times this vector here. And we just have to distribute this negative 2 to get the new vector. So this is going to be 54, comma, negative 72. For this problem, we've got two vectors in component form, and we want to figure out what u plus v is. So we're just going to plug these vectors in for u and v. So we've got negative 8, comma, 7 plus 5, comma, 9. And let's see, adding these together, we're basically just adding the x values and adding the y values. So we get a combined vector of negative 8 plus 5, comma, 7 plus 9, which, if we simplify it, comes out to negative 3, comma, 16. For this problem, we've got these two vectors in component form. And we want to figure out negative 9u plus 9v. So I'm going to start by replacing u and v with these actual component forms here. So negative 9 and then 0 comma negative 12 plus 9 times negative 12 comma 4. Next step, let's go ahead and distribute these factors, these constants outside. So let's see, we have negative 9 times 0 is 0. And negative 9 times negative 12, that's going to be 108. Over here, we're going to have negative 108, comma, 36. And now we're just adding the x's and the y's together separately. So we've got 0 plus negative 108. So, uh, and then also we've got 108 plus 36. So this is going to be negative 108, comma, 144. On this problem, I've got a few uh, vectors in component form here and I want to figure out negative u plus 9v. Let me start by replacing u and v with the actual component forms. So we've got negative 0 comma 2 plus 9 times 10 comma 8. Now let me distribute the negative 1 and the 9 to these vectors. So for this first vector, this is going to be 0 comma negative 2. And this next one, we're going to have 90 comma 72. Now we're adding the x's and adding the y's separately. So we've got 0 plus 90, comma, negative 2 plus 72, which simplifies to 90, comma, 70. For this problem, we're doing negative 10u minus 4v for these two vectors over here. So rewriting this with the component forms, we've got negative 10 times 10, comma, negative 3 minus 4 times negative 12, comma, 12. Next, we're going to distribute before we try to combine anything else. So this is going to be negative 100, comma, 30 for that vector. And for this next one, we're going to be subtracting, let's see, this is going to be negative 48, comma, 48. And, I mean, you had two ways you could have gone here. You could have distributed a negative 4 and then put a plus out here. I distributed a positive 4 and kept the minus out there. Either way, so we end up with negative 100, plus 48 as one of our uh, final vectors, final coordinates, and also 30 minus 48. 
which is going to simplify to negative 52 comma negative 18. On this problem, we're trying to find the dot product of these two vectors. So we have to multiply the x's and the y's separately and then add those products together. So we've got negative 8 times 9 plus 9 times negative 6. So that's negative 72 plus negative 54, giving us a grand total of, let's see, negative 126. To find the dot product of these two vectors, we're going to multiply the x's and the y's separately and add the products together. So we've got negative 8 times 5 plus 6 times 4. That's negative 40 plus 24, which comes out to negative 16. To find the dot product for these vectors, we're going to multiply the x's and y's separately and add those products. So we've got 4 times 5 plus negative 7 times negative 1. So that's going to be 20 plus 7 which comes out to 27.